What's up, YouTube? I'm back with another video. I'm gonna uh, be going over some of the history of respiratory therapy from my class for y'all. Hope y'all enjoy. Hope you uh, can relate and find this video and it helps you a ton. Uh, let's just dive into it. History Objective Study Sheet. Know the major factors that contributed to uh, the beginning for the profession. Uh, disease uh, that was prevalent. Heart failure, phenomia, and pleurisy. Shock, cerebrovascular disorders. Pilometrics, ec epidemic. Cultural accepted smoking, so lung diseases, other stuff like that. Uh, <clears throat> stroke, heart disease, poly uh, myelitis, stroke, heart disease, polymyelitis, diseases prevalent, heart disease, polymyelitis, stroke, diseases prevalent polymyelitis, stroke, and heart disease. Culture, everyone smokes. Culture, everyone smokes. Culture, everyone smokes. Nursing issues, nurses tend to be overworked. Nursing issues, nurses tend to be overworked. Uh, World War I, World War II, gas damage, lungs, um... And aviation, uh, pilots needed oxygen to be able to go up into the higher altitudes. Uh, with uh, that's what helped make respiratory therapists more important. World War One and World War Two, they had uh, the the um, mustard chlorine gas was damaging people's lungs, and aviation they needed uh oxygen for the higher altitudes with uh, uh in world war one and world war two uh mustard and chlorine gas damaged the lungs in aviation they needed the oxygen and that's why respiratory therapists became important <laughs> or that's what helped them become important <clears throat> Oxygen mass. Uh, technology advances. Some of the technology advances. Uh, they had uh, this high airflow oxygen machines. And iron lung and ventilator. Uh, oxygen mass technology advances. Oxygen mass, technology advances, iron lung, ventilator, and um, high, was it high airflow uh, ventilators? High airflow ventilators, technology advances, iron lung, ventilator, high oxygen flow ventilator. Oxygen mass, technology advances, iron lung, high oxygen flow ventilator, oxygen mass. Know who's who and what they contributed to the profession. Joseph uh, Priestley invented oxygen in the 1850s. Joseph Priestley invented oxygen in the 1850s. Joseph Priestley invented oxygen in the 1850s. Philip Drinker, John Emerson developed tech on the iron lung and John improved upon it. Joseph Drinker and John Emerson helped uh, invent the iron lung. Philip Drinker and John Emerson invented the iron lung. Carl von Lind 
manufactured and stored oxygen. Carl von Lind uh, developed fractional distillation of liquid air. Carl von Lind fractional distillation of liquid air. Carl von Lind developed fractional distillation of liquid air. Albert H. Andrews created the manual of oxygen therapy. Albert H. Andrews developed the manual of oxygen therapy. Albert H. Andrews developed the manual of oxygen therapy. Edward Levine was a pulmonologist who did on the job training and developed OJT. Edward Levine was a pulmonologist who did on the job training with his employees and developed OJTs. <coughs> Edward Levine was a pulmonologist who did on the job training and developed OJTs. Sam Giordano was the godfather insured and started the movement of AARC and was the uh, president uh, licensure of the profession Sam uh, Giordano uh, helped create the licensure of respiratory therapists uh, he created the AARC and was the president of it Sam Gordano was the president of AARC and helped develop the licensure. Sam Gio Giordano developed a licensure of respiratory therapists. Skip Gillum was the <clears throat> uh VP of Casper College Respiratory Therapy Program. He helped develop a, a lot of the other healthcare programs at the at Casper College. Skip Gillum was VP of the Casper College Respiratory Therapy Program. He helped develop the other programs, healthcare programs at the Casper College. Skip Gillum was VP of Casper College Respiratory Therapy Program. He helped develop uh, the healthcare uh, school at Casper College. Matthew Krull, medical <clears throat> director for CC Respiratory Therapy Program. Matthew Krull, medical director for CC Respiratory Therapy Program. Matthew Krull, medical director for CC Respiratory Therapy Program. Joseph Monfrey, he's a co-medical uh, director for Casper College. Joseph Monfrey is a co-medical director for Casper College. Joseph Monfrey, co-medical director for Casper College. Uh, where was respiratory therapy born? In 1943. In Chicago in 1943. Where was respiratory therapy born? This profession was born in Chicago in 1943. Respiratory therapy profession was born in Chicago in 1943. Uh, respiratory therapy was formally incorporated in 1947 at the Sugarloaf Conference in Philadelphia. Uh, respiratory therapy was incorporated in 1947 at the Sugarloaf Conference in Philadelphia. Respiratory therapy was formally incorporated in 1947. Uh, what was respiratory therapy's first name? ITA, Inhalator Therapy Association. What was respiratory therapy's first name? ITA, Inhalator Therapy Association. What was uh, respiratory therapy's first name? ITA, Inhalator Therapy Association. What is the name today? AARC, American Association of Respiratory Care. 
uh, what is the name of the respiratory therapy today? AARC, American Association of Respiratory Care. What is the name of respiratory therapy today? AARC, American Respi American Association of Respiratory Care. That's what AARC stands for. <clears throat> Understand the significance of Sugarloaf Conference. When 1974, where Philadelphia, what happened? Scientific evidence respiratory therapists help uh, patients understand the significance of the Sugarloaf Conference. Uh, when 1974, where Philadelphia, what happened? Scientific evidence respiratory therapists help patients. Um, Sugarloaf Conference 1974, Temple University Conference in Philadelphia, prominent scientists, doctors, American Thoracic Society came together to prove the things that respiratory therapists improve the outcomes of their patients. Um, understand the significance of Sugarloaf Conference. Sugarloaf Conference, when 1974, where Philadelphia, what happened? Scientific evidence, respiratory therapists help patients, organizations be able to define the role and functions of the following organizations. AARC, American Association of Respiratory Care. AARC, American Association of Respiratory Care. AARC, American Association of Respiratory Care. WYSRC, Wyoming Society 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 of Respiratory Care. NBRC, National Board for Respiratory Care, 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 COARC, Commission on Accreditation of Respiratory Care, COARC, Commission on Accreditation of Respiratory Care, COARC Commission on Accreditation of Respiratory Care uh, be able to define and identify the functional role of the following credentials and certifications. RRT Registered Respiratory Therapist RRT res Registered Respiratory Therapist RRT Registered Respiratory Therapist CRT Certified Respiratory Therapist, CRT Certified Respiratory Therapist, CRT Certified Respiratory Therapist, CPFT Certified Pulmonary Function Test, CPFT Certified Pulmonary Function Test, CPFT Certified Pulmonary Function Test, R. PFT registered pulmonary functions technologist RPFT registered pulmonary functions technologist RPFT registered pulmonary functions technologist RPFT registered pulmonary functions technologist NPS neonatal pediatric specialty NPS Neonatal Pediatric Specialty, NPS Neonatal Pediatric Specialty, SDS Sleep Disorder Specialty, SDS Sleep Disorders Specialty, SDS Sleep Disorders Specialty. <clears throat> AACS Adult Critical Care Specialty, AACS Adult Critical Care Specialty, AACS Adult Critical Care Specialty, define 
credentialing. Um, credentialing is awarded by the NBRC. Earn the credential by making board level tests. Define credentialing. Uh, credentialing is awarded by the MBRC. Uh, credentialing is earned by uh, taking a board level test. Credentialing is awarded by the MBRC and is earned by. Uh, credentialing is earned by taking a board level test. Define licensure government agency. Licensure is a government agency that awards you a license. Look at your capability and credentials. Uh, Sam Giordano came up with licensure. Licensure is a government agency that awards you a license. Looks at your capability to be credentialed. Sam Giordano uh, came up with uh, the licensure, the government licensure. Licensure credentials, um, licensure, define licensure. Licensure is a government agency that awards respiratory therapists a license. Looks at respiratory therapists, uh, licensures, uh, looks at the respiratory therapist's capability to be credentialed. Sugarloaf Conference, 1974 Temple University Conference in Philadelphia, Prominent scientists, doctors, and American Thoriasic Society came together to prove things that uh, respiratory therapy does um, improves the outcomes of their patients. Um, Practice Act uh, is a standard care that came out of the Sugarloaf Conference in 1974. The Standard Act creates a standard of care Practice guidelines for respiratory therapists. Practice at, Act uh, came out of the Sugarloaf Conference in 1974. Practice Act creates a standard of care. Practice guidelines for respiratory therapists. Practice Act came out of the Sugarloaf Conference in 1974 in Chicago, or in Philadelphia. And the Practice Act creates a standard of care practice guideline for respiratory therapists and that's all i got on this one i hope that helps you as much as it'll help me catch y'all in the next video have a good one peace